Hey, folks. Well, here we go. So I know it's been a couple days. Sorry about that. Uh, you know how it is. Life sometimes shows up and makes you do things. Um, so here we are doing the right elevator. Uh, so as I said in the previous video that I was going to do the left elevator first and then do the right one second, which is, is different than what it actually says to do in the instructions. Uh, in the instructions, it says you should do them basically at the same time, side by side. Um, and, eh, I don't know, one way or the other. I mean, I, I, it works. I, I got it working. I, I'm, I, I don't know that my way was better or their way was better. Um, since my only piece of advice is no matter what, and I think this is probably why they want you to do it, you know, them together, uh, no matter what, label your parts really well so that you have some notion as to, you know, which skin is right top, which skin is left bottom, etc. Um, because that does, that is really important. And I actually just put it on different sides of my garage. And so I always knew which one was which. Uh, other than that, I, I, I really can't see an advantage of doing, uh, doing them both at the same time. Uh, in fact, if, if space is limited as it is in my case right here, just because of the clutter in my garage, then um, this worked out pretty well. I'm not gonna go into as much detail uh, in this video, simply because you're watching basically exactly the video you just watched, but in mirror. Uh, nothing is different. Uh, actually, different things come later. Uh, there, there are some differences when it comes to how you put the two pieces together in the next steps that are actually outside this video. I um, actually worked on that some today. But uh, other than that, no, it's the same thing. So. Uh, I probably will largely shut up and just let the video play because I don't know that I have anything else. And uh, yeah, good times. I'm still really looking forward to this. Uh, I've had several people, actually I will ramble, haha. -ha. I had several people come to the house the other day uh, and they were very excited to see this and, and uh, the community has been excellent. In fact, I've had offers from folks that live around me that have built RVs before and they want to come down and see the project and you know give feedback and and that's awesome uh, i highly recommend uh you know checking out your local eaa chapter and see if there are people that are willing to either help or just give advice because having that resource is amazing uh, by the way it occurs to me this video uh is over the course of many days uh so that's why you will probably see some jumps today jumps tonight jumps today etc uh, I've had to kind of slow down a little bit just because of work. Yeah, you know how it is. Something that I'll probably talk to at length uh, in the next video uh, are the differences in how things are assembled between the left and right elevator. They are different. Uh, it, it's kind of, kind of interesting how different they are. And that got a little confusing too. You want to, again, go back to what I was saying before, label your parts. Uh, at, at that point where you have everything uh, put together, the primary labels you're gonna need are just, you know, left elevator, right elevator uh, at that point. Uh, also, I think I talked about this previously a little bit about which skin dimples to not or which uh, holes in the skin to not dimple. I did check with Vans uh, and I did it right. So go back to the previous video and take a look. Uh, the ones along the forward edge, which are the ones that are rounded, are not to be dimpled. Everything else should be. Also, I'm looking through my video collection and at some point I've managed to lose video. I don't know how this keeps happening. I'm not sure if I'm deleting them or if I just forget to transfer them off the camera or what. Uh, but there is a point at which uh, during the assembly process, I lose a little bit of video. I'm hoping that uh, I can cover most of it just by referencing the previous video. Hopefully you guys won't get confused. Basically, the part in the previous video where I'm talking about how the parts have to stack up and line up with one another correctly, I don't have that video for this one, and I'm not sure why. Uh, just go back and look at it. Again, look at the plans. You have to make sure that the ribs on the inside line up correctly as you put them together. Uh, and they, they are actually opposite on this one, uh, this elevator versus the previous elevator. And again, that's something that will make sense once you look at how left versus right works and how the ribs go in. And it also has to do with a little bit with how the, uh, the 
two pieces are different with regards to assembly later. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm, I swear I'm trying not to lose video, but it does happen. And uh, with that, I don't know that I have much more to say. Uh, I may just shut up and, and uh, let the video play out. I am very much looking forward to flying again. I found out the other day that my uh, CFI's plane is back out of the shop, so I can finally get back in the air. Uh, excited there. Uh, for those that uh, are wondering, no, I do not have my pilot's license yet. I'm in the process of getting my pilot's license and doing this at the same time. A little bit daunting. Uh, I would almost recommend doing one than the other, to be honest, uh, just because it is it is a lot on your plate, and uh, I always fear I'm going to screw one or the other up because I'm doing too much. Uh, eh, we'll see. Anyways, I'll let the video play now. Uh, I do talk uh, in the video here in a bit, and then after that, it's just going to be music. Hey, thanks a bunch, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the feedback that everyone's given me. And again, uh, please continue to make suggestions. I absolutely listen to it, and I very much appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thanks. So one thing I would mention on page 9-11 is when it's talking about riveting the nut plates in step one, which is this little bubble here, it mentions that you reinforce, you rivet the reinforced plates using the rivets called out on page 9-20 uh, figure two. Then on step two, it says back rivet the E615 uh, E1 015 reinforcement plates to the skin using the rivets called out in the blow up of figure one which is this this guy here that's backwards the blow up of figure one should be on step one and the rivets called out on page 20 should be or 9-20 should be step two so don't let those confuse you that's just backwards <laughs> 